Hi beauties and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Darissa Rain, aka Riri, and I'm a plus size model and a self-taught and freelance makeup artist here in North Carolina, and I love all things glitter. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, except it gets on my nerves. Beautiful, but gets on my nerves. Reminds me of my husband. Yeah. Anyways. Um, on today's video, I am going to be doing my Ofra mystery bag unboxing. Um, as you can see, I have not even opened it up yet. And these were $35, but I did get a $10 off coupon code. Thank you, Courtney, if you're watching. Um, so I paid $25 for it. And I didn't open it up yet to reveal what was inside because I don't know if it's inside of a bag. Then the products are inside of a bag or if everything's like just in the box open. So, um, yeah, let's dive right in. Um, I love mystery boxes or mystery bags. I have not done a whole lot of them, but I am starting to see that more and more companies are starting to do them, and I'm pretty freaking excited about that. Um, so again, it was supposed to have been $35, and you were supposed to get $80 plus or $85 plus um, worth of value in the box. So I'm really excited. I absolutely love Ofra liquid lips and Ofra highlights. So I'm super stoked about this. And I do have a palette. I had gotten their Ofra, I'm trying to think of the name of it. I will post it somewhere on here because I cannot remember what the hell it's called. But it came out in October. Yes, I know. Terrible. I have not even used it yet. Um, the Boho palette. But I got that in October when it came out because I absolutely loved like the warm fall colors and stuff. And I have kind of been saving it to do like a first impressions. But Every time I think about it, I don't have the time to film with it or, you know, vice versa. I've already done, you know, my video for the week, so then I can't use it. So I've literally not even opened it or touched it yet. But I have a feeling I'm going to love it. And there's a shit ton of packaging in here. Okay, so they packaged it really, really well. Okay, there are two big pieces of bubble wrap still left in the box. And then it's also wrapped very heavily in bubble wrap. Go ahead over it. Oh my god. That bag is hella cute. So we're gonna get this box out of the way. Um, as you guys know, I do not watch any unboxings. I actually only heard this from one of the Facebook group groups that I'm in and my friend Courtney posted about it and said she had a coupon code. So I was like, $25 for $85 worth of products? I'm in. Okay, so um, here's the bag. It is a beautiful blush pink bag, um, kind of like vegan leather, faux leather material. And then you can see it says Perfecting Beauty Every Day in the Ofer logo. Okay, I'm not gonna look. Oh my God, it is really heavy, actually quite heavy. What is that? It's mushy. <laughs> I didn't even know they had makeup wipes. Oh shit, okay. First up is Ofra Cleanse It Off. You love your glam, but you also have to take it off. 100% cotton lip wipes, 15 packs. I didn't even know they had stuff like this, so that is really cool. I want to open it up and just smell what they smell like. They smell slightly like citrusy, like maybe slightly lemony. Mmm, okay. Really, really excited about that, especially since I use matte lippies all the time. They can sometimes be hard to get off. So, I'm intrigued, very intrigued. Next. Oh yes, an Ofra Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick in the shade Pasadena. That is what their new packaging looks like. I'm gonna open her up. Um, I do have um, Napa Valley, I have Morona or Verona, one or the other. And then of course Miami Fever, which you guys know is like one of my absolute favorites. Oh, that is really pretty. I don't normally go for pinks. This is more like on the mauve, a little bit deeper. Um, we'll see. I might swatch it on my hand and see what I feel about it, but I'm not really a pinky lippy type of person. Okay, next up. Also feels very weird. <laughs> what the hell is that? Oh, okay, cool deal. Ofra Get Chilled Out, and it is a gel eye mask. That is really cool. Hopefully you guys can see like the little gel beads that are in here. So I'm assuming since it says chilled out that you put this in the freezer. And then it is a sleeping mask. Um, I imagine this probably feels really fucking amazing. 
And if you do not already know, if you put like cold spoons, cold cucumbers, anything really cold around your eyes or underneath here, it will help to de-puff. So pretty cool. If you got one of these, don't count it out yet. Go ahead and put it in the freezer, get it cold, and then put it on your eyes and it will help with de-puffing and things like that as well. Okay, so next up is Chilled Out by Ofra. And it is a little heart-shaped post-it notes. Um, super fucking cute. I will keep this. Oh, show. I don't know what this is either. <laughs> Thank God this isn't anything that could be alive because I would have been terrified. Next up is the Ofra Makeup Fixer. A light, refreshing mi mist that keeps makeup in place all day long. Oh, yes. That is what that looks like. I'm going to open her up and smell her because y'all know I smell everything. Um, and I'm super sensitive. Hopefully you guys cannot tell too much. I am pretty nasally today. I am not feeling the greatest. I have been running a fever today. Um, my mother-in-law and father-in-law came over today to cook out. And y'all, I literally felt so terrible. I just sat on the couch. So I felt like an ass, but it didn't feel very well. <laughs> so let me spray it. <sighs> Smells very, very light, very fresh, almost cucumbery, but very, very soft. And the mist, hopefully you guys can see, is super, super fine. Oh, wow. That's, that smells really amazing. So love that. I think there's one, no, two, two things left. Okay, this is a long lasting mini liquid lipstick in the shade Tuscany, also kind of like a mauve pink shade. Um, what I may do honestly is keep this one and just kind of try it out and try the pinks and then maybe get rid of the other one or use it in my upcoming giveaway that I will be letting you guys know about soon. Um, and then last, I think that's last, let me look at that, yes, okay. And then last up is Ofra Highlighter All of the Lights. I have no idea which one that is. Technical difficulties, guys, technical difficulties. And I love their packaging. Like, everything is just so beautiful and so sleek. Everything is really heavy and really substantial, which I truly appreciate. Um, hello, I cannot open it. There we go, made in the US. Oh my god, it's so pretty. So that is what that looks like. It has several different colors in it. It has a really pretty champagne, a little bit warmer of a champagne tone, and then kind of like a more white icy, and then a light pink one. Um, I will 100% be using this. Like I said, I absolutely love, love, love over highlights. Um, this is pretty bomb. I want to say their highlights are like 20 $29 ish something very close to that so literally I paid $25 for the entire bag I think this is a pretty amazing bag and I like the fact that they didn't send just makeup only products they sent you know like the little post-it notes and they sent the little mask and things like that and then the lippy wipes I think that's pretty awesome I love when a bag or like sub boxes and things like that can be kind of mixed up I don't want to get like the same shit over and over and over again um, and I love the fact that it I don't know what everybody else got. I will watch some now once I upload this that I've seen my own bag. Um, but I don't know if everybody got wearable colors. Um, I know a lot of people with the Jeffree Star mystery boxes were complaining. Um, I only purchased from, like, I guess BTS groups as far as Jeffree Star stuff goes. So I've never purchased off the website. So for me, I don't have a lot of Jeffree Star products. So I was, like, grateful for anything. Um, but I, I do understand if you're a true collector of Jeffree Star and you did get like especially the more expensive box at the holidays or even now for Valentine's Day. Um, I understand it that you feel like maybe everything wasn't wearable or you, you know it was older product or whatever. Um, my thing is this. If I feel like maybe it's something that I'm not going to use, I can pass it along to a fellow beauty. Um, you know, another guy or girl that I know that absolutely loves makeup. I have mothers and sisters and things like that. And then, of course, you know, I also do buy, sell, and trade. I am also gearing up for a giveaway soon. So, you know, if you don't like it, definitely gift it or you can also resell it. And then the more not wearable shades, don't think about a product just as a highlighter or only as a liquid lipstick. You know, his liquid lipsticks you can use as eyeliners. The highlighters, you can put them, I like to take gloss sometimes, not necessarily gloss, but a chapstick or something like that, and then press like a highlighter in the center of my lips. It really makes your lips look nice and pretty and pouty. Um, you can also use the, you know, highlighters that maybe won't suit your skin tone or your personal needs and use them for inner corner highlight. You can put them on the lids for mass, you know, for shadows. So 
definitely kind of look past what packaging says their product is used for. You know, I mean, you can definitely use them for other things. So, um, pretty damn satisfied. I definitely feel like I got my $25 worth. Um, especially, I mean, just the highlight is absolutely worth that. And I love everything that I got. Um, a little um, on the fence about the lippy shades. Just, that's personal preference. I'm not a pink girl. I either go crazy weird colors like blues and grays and things like that or I love purples or nudes like I have way too many nudes um like way too many <laughs> um I did want to give a little quick shout out my makeup has been on for hours and hours and hours I was trying to look halfway human today when my in-laws came um but I tried out the Mally and I will be doing a first impressions of this so I'm not really going to talk much about it um, but it's the Mally Face Defender BB Cream Foundation, and this is the shade Light Medium, and that is what I have on, and then my Rebel Rouge Labs palette for everything else, and then I have a little bit of liner on. But, um, stay tuned for this. I'm actually shocked. I'll just say that. <laughs> so, that is it for tonight. Um, this is actually a Sunday video. I'm filming, filming right now and uploading now. Walking Dead comes on tonight. The Music Awards come on tonight. I am super stoked. Hopefully I can stay awake <laughs> and actually sit up through it. So let's get in the comments and let's have some conversation. Let's talk, let's talk, let's talk. Um, who's your favorite Walking Dead character? Who do you despise? Um, who that got killed off was like the person that you just absolutely, you were devastated by their, you know, them leaving the show. What are you looking forward to? What do you think is going to happen? Predictions? Um, yeah, let's chat. Let's, let's run our mouths. Let's, you know, let's have some girl talk, some guy talk. Um, so that's it for tonight. I definitely appreciate you guys watching. If you like this video at all, then please give me a thumbs up and subscribe below. If you hit that notification bell, I'd be more grateful and thankful. I would love to have you be part of my beauty family. And always remember to be your own best beautiful. Bye, beauties.